we are at uh, Ljubljana in Slovenia in the uh, latest version of the F35. I've got an Aimline X and a GBU-12 on each wing, which is very cool. And we're going to do, it's about 88 miles I think, cross country. The first leg is uh, high altitude across the mountains and then we go to low altitude on the way back through a couple of valleys. So this should be fun. We're cleared for takeoff. Feels good, that's the pink indicators on the right. Managed to uh, configure some of these uh, panels. It's all very complicated. Right, let's get clearance for takeoff. Um, I think we are already cleared, so that's redundant. Yeah, I've been sitting on, I actually taxied off the runway, I spent 20 minutes playing with the uh, displays here. Looks nice, super nice. Just going to get my uh, cockpit set up with directional uh, indicator. There it is. Beautiful weather. Taking off for runway 30. So I'm going to do a bit, bit of a speed run on this, I think. Yeah, see how I go. Now, so I'll start my timer from when I release the wheel brakes. Now, okay, we've got positive rotor climb, gear up, come out of burner. Very interesting. I don't, don't know what it means. Um, start turning right to the first waypoint. Going through 400 knots. Nice. Quite a bit north of the uh, track. I'll pull up the default map as we clear these mountains. I'll keep turning and actually should roll out pretty well on track actually to the east. Uh, it all happens pretty quick here. And what am I thinking? I want to adjust the brightness of the hard which I'll attempt to do. Uh, first of all, find the first waypoint, which I believe is this mountain peak on the right. It is, yep. They've just gone slightly north of it in our haste. So I'm going to steer to the south a little bit. I think I'll forget about the speed run on this first um, first circuit because I haven't flown this route in about nine months, I think. I want to get that hard adjusted so I can see what's going on. I think it's the one that left. Yes. Okay. It's pretty bright, but at least I can see it. Okay, I'm still north of track. See a couple of miles north, so let's get uh, focus here. So we're looking for 
Oskovec. It's about eight miles away. Oh yeah, now remembering what I saw in the briefing notes, it's kind of a round topped peak with uh, pretty much like this one. A couple of buildings on top as well. I think I'll go back to that brightness on the HUD. It's, it's bright enough to see. In fact, this is it coming up here. Uh, it's kind of a clearing on the right with that white. Those white areas and a couple of buildings. This is exactly what we saw in the pictures. Sitting on 450 knots too. I got the throttle way back, actually. This thing's pretty fast. That's the spot. I don't know what that. Maybe that's a. Uh, maybe some ground avoidance warning. Right, waypoint three is the lakes, which I can already see. Seat up a bit. This thing really moves. It might even be faster than the Hornet, which is a bit hard to believe. But I'll, I'll try it again later. It's speed, but for now I just want to try to hit the uh, turn points. And okay, there's the lakes. Next is the town of Vojnik. So it's somewhat to the south east. Just get on track and then pull up the map. It's brought up now. Yep, pretty good. Vojnik. Now at that point we start turning hard to the right and go along a valley. Okay. So I'll start to think about getting down low. Generic Charlie Yankee pipe would claim and maintain 3,500 feet. Certainly beautiful terrain here. Oh yeah, it says, it says something about terrain that in that. Pipe and maintain 3,500 feet. Generic Charlie Yankee Papa. Red lettering at the top of the massive iPad that got strapped in the front of this. Oh yeah, this is all coming back to me now. So I should have been a bit to the left flying along that valley. And then we turn around the corner. So let's do that. Yeah, we turn around this way. We're basically following the valleys now. Quite bumpy there. Altitude warnings, yeah, you can probably turn that off somewhere. and then heading along there I believe turn west for 13 nautical miles along a broad valley yep sounds good Heading west. So 300 knots. Fast enough for this brain to keep up with at the moment. Yep. Now, contrary to what the manual said. Trim control does does seem to have an effect, which is good. So I'm now flying with trim control only. Let's check our map. Generic Charlie Yankee Papa, please expedite your climb 3,500 feet. Right now, if I remember correctly, it veers around to the left. Uh, five miles, and then. Right again. 
let's see how we go. Oh, yep, yep, so we're basically following this road. Which does take a hard turn to the left here. Around we go. Roll out there. Oh, yes. Now, if you're flying slow enough, you can follow all the twists and turns of this road, but I'm just going to fly across the top. And our last valley is coming up along here. Okay, well that's, yep, there we go. Two more, two more. Alright, so and yes, we've got a main road in front of us. Don't hit the hill. Valley, and the airport should be up that way. Whew. That was a pretty quick eighty eight miles. Exhilarating, um, and confusing at the same time. Here we are, already back at the airport. Nice. Channel two. Channel two. Channel one. Like India Golf four. Mike into your golf copy. Fly straight in runway tree zero 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 seven. Okay, let's do crosswind. Do three hundred and fifty knots. See how the speed bleeds off. Yeah, we just lost seventy knots. Uh, and we're not even finished yet. 250 knots now. So from memory it, I think it was 125 to so 150 knots was the landing speed. It starts to wallow around a lot at this low speed. Um, I'll take my time, I think I'll turn to final Want to get over these forests? I can do a golf copy. Clear to land runway tree zero 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 seven. 
again when they get over these hills. So if I look out there, yep. I've only flown this beast a couple of times, as you can tell. I think uh, the further the better, actually, at the moment. Alright, let's pop the speed brake. That's pretty effective. 250. 40, okay, put it back in, start to turn to final, uh, drop the gear about 200 I think, okay, it's interesting, still warnings, It doesn't like being uh, yanked around too hard at this speed. Pop speed brake again. We've got nice ILS. Yes, check here, thank you. Gear's coming down. Now flaps are automatic apparently. Yeah, it looks like I'm way below the glow slope. Let's put the seat up a bit. There we go. My trim neutral again. Right, getting way too slow now. Yeah, we've got down to 140 knots there, that's not good. This is going to take some practice, but certainly a beautiful machine and uh, beautifully rendered and realised by this, these guys. So let's see if I can do anything with this ILS. Probably not. So, the speed's very responsive to throttle in this part of the envelope, which is, I guess that's good. misjudge the height when I'm, I put my seat up like that, that's my excuse anyway. Zero, zero, seven, contact on right, I'll, I'll leave it there and um, probably need to have it go and have a lay down after that, it's quite exciting. Excellent.